Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, I'll give you a few tips if you are using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, 6K, or the 6K Pro, because all of the things will apply to those. If you are new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and want to have a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe. Number one, presets. It's a super nice feature in the pocket line of cameras that can give you a basic profile. It's also super helpful if you are shooting with multiple cameras, then you would do the profile. For instance, let's say we would do a uh, a anamorphic setup. So I'll go into the record settings, I'll go into my 4K DCI mode, I then would go into the monitor, going into the screen options on both, going to the second page of that, and in here I'm going to push the anamorphic de-squeeze. So with that set I'm going to the recording settings and I'm going to the next page, I want to shoot this at 24 frames a second and I want to be in my film gamma and I also want to toggle off detail sharpening. You should always toggle that off by the way. And uh, for that setting that's good. Then I could do my audio settings. For this particular thing I'm just going to leave it at uh, camera left, camera right. But I could hook up a microphone and put that up as well. Uh, if I go into the setup as well, I could change in uh, different things. I also actually like to use the dim display feature as well, and I can put that on. And then I'll go into presets, and I'm going to push the plus sign, and I'm just going to call this anamorphic. Like that, and then I'm just going to update that and now I have an anamorphic setup in my camera that I can choose every time I'm shooting anamorphic and the, per default this is now going to de-squeeze the image so I don't have to do that extra step every time. So to select it I'm just going to put my anamorphic and I'm going to hit the sign here and now it's selected so if I go in I'm in anamorphic mode. Number two, import the LUTs. If you go into the LUTs into the camera, you can easily see that you have some LUTs here already. But if you want to add in your own LUTs, you can do that. If you go into DaVinci Resolve and you can export those in, save them onto your CFast card or hard disk, put that into the camera and then we can easily go in and toggle through those. And um, if we push right here on the two arrows, we can just import selected LUTs. You can now import LUTs into your camera and use those for your project. Number three, the last recommendation to do with your camera is actually only available if you have the 7.3 update and that is actually the dim feature. We can go into our setup, we can go into the third page and here we have the auto dim function. I'm going to put this on and I'll put it at one minute and when nothing is happening for one minute it's going to dim down the screen and it's going to save you battery life and who do not want to save on the battery life. Okay so that was three tips on how to work faster with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, 6K, 6K Pro and in fact the things do also apply to the Ursa Mini this is the generation one, except for the dimming down the screen. That isn't available on this particular model. Anyway, I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there is a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.